Uh, good morning guys, Sunday the uh, 14th of January, it's about 7 o'clock in the morning, they're about 6.37. I've brought three dogs out today, you just haven't seen Gemma for a while, she's a two year old now, um, and that's her mum, so that's the uh, two purebreds. Hey Gem, Gemma come, come, sit, sit, good girl, Paul, Paul, good girl. Anyway, that's Gemma. Uh, she's two year old now. Beautiful dog. Like her mum, she's got a very high prey drive. Um, that type of dog you could teach to attack whatever you wanted it to. As you can see, there's horses all around. She's great with stock, sheep, cows, whatever. She's been well educated when she was young. Um, and the only thing she's ever been taught to chase is rabbits. She, it's a shame she'd make a great pig dog, but I don't think pigging anymore. They both would make good pig dogs, but they make good ferret dogs too, in their own way. They don't catch many uh, out in the open, but they're good around the nets. They they stop them from getting bouncing off the nets and running back in, and that sort of thing. They're good at marking the holes, which is about all they're uh, we use them for. So another good day plan guys, I'll just give you a bit, a bit of a look what we're doing here. If you notice around this tin there's a fair few burrows. So we're going to throw the ferrets through it. A little bit dangerous because this time of year there's a fair few snakes around. And this is the sort of haven that snakes will hibernate in or when they see what's someone coming. They shoot for this type of thing. So it's a bit of a, a, bit of a worry putting the ferrets through but um, what do you do? I mean, you could say that about every every hole in the paddock, you know. It's, uh, it's part of ferreting in Australia, isn't it? I, this area, there's not a lot of snakes. I haven't seen one here the whole time I've been coming out here. I did get invited to another property on the weekend that's got apparently hundreds of rabbits. But it runs along in an area that I know pretty well. And that along that creek, it, it's the uh, Werribee River in Victoria, for those who want to know near Bacchus Marsh and anyway that particular area holds a lot of snake um, and I said no I'm not going to go out there I said there's too many snakes this time of year I said tell you what I'll come back in a couple of months when it cools down once the, uh, the snakes are a bit less prevalent and they're hibernating so I'll, I'll go back there then not going to have any issue getting back on there because uh, the guy that owns the place is my is my daughter's boyfriend's boss. So anyway, gonna throw the long nets around that, that burrow there guys. There's also uh, a burrow in here, so what I'll do is I'll net this up, because they're gonna run from here to here. So I'll put the net around here, and I'll kill two birds with one stone. I'll run the ferret through here and let them run into that net, after I put it around. See, there's another big burrow in here. <coughs> and they're gonna run into the net there. So I'll, I'll ferret this first, put the net around this one, ferret this one first. Just seen a bunch of rabbits running past here, not a bunch but two. Two rabbits just run past. Yeah, so that's what I'll do, put the net around, ferret this one, let them run into that net. If not, they'll run this way. If they run this way, they've got no chance, a dog will get them for sure. Little zips, uh, she won't miss them if she sees them. She's turned into a fantastic little dog, mate. Doesn't miss too many out the open, that's for sure. Not on this sort of ground. They've got a bit of a head start on her. Like any dog, I suppose. Like she's no world beater. But she's handy enough. She's good enough for what I do. I've had better and I've had worse. But uh, yeah, I'm going to breed her this year. Sip. She's a three quarter whippet stag. A stag in Australia is a deerhound greyhound. And the dog I'm going to put over is exactly the same breed. So it'll be three quarter whippet, quarter stag, or quarter, a one eighth deer here, one eighth grand, and three quarter whippet. Whichever way you want to say, it's the same thing. Oh, be nice, missing. There it is. I just got to come out, snake by bandage, bells. All the way back in. Alright 
right guys, got a few ferrets with me today, as you can see, and they're, they're raring to go. Okay guys, I'll get this net set up and then I'll get back to you. What I've done is guys, I've, uh, big thanks to Nelson as, as well, Nelson makes these nets, these, these nets here. Found them to be fantastic, and I love his baskets. I've used different baskets. I've got two two different types here, and his are by far the best. And I recommend his nets to all the friends that I know that want them. Um, and I found one to be fantastic. So all the best for the new year, Nelson, and um, and thanks very much for the nets, mate. I'm, I'm more than happy. So anyway, guys, I've got 100 yards going around, 50 yards this this side, and 50 yards on the other side, and I'm going to run a 25 yard net just across there so when I do this tin burrow here if they try and head through there because there is a burrow down there a big one it'll cut them off so we'll see how we go or anyway I'll run that 25 yard one out I'll just give you a look at these baskets that Nelson makes um, when you're setting these nets up too guys try and give them as much room to, to run as possible the rabbits the closer you've got them to the burrow usually the less effective they are that's that's what i've found anyway as you can see uh there's nelson's uh one of his baskets here and all the poles stack on top of each other and they're really really well designed and they're, they're very effective very easy to put out a lot easier than the one I'm, the other one i'm about to show you which is a cheaper version that you can get off ebay it's one of the first sets i ever got um and i'll tell you mate it, it's it's nowhere near as well mate you see like the poles they sit on top of each other they can they can tangle you can um when you put them in wrap them up with something but it's it's a bit of a pain in the backside doing that all the time use a small jockey strap or some sort of elastic so they don't so they don't spin around you can do that or you can just get some proper nets also the way nelson's are like you said his bar it just sits on you a bit it's got a little bit of a curve but nelson's got a big flat flat bar that, with a bit better curve and they sit on your hip better so uh, if you're after any long nets guys get in touch with me and then i'll put you on to my mate nelson and he'll look after you i'm sure sometimes it can take a little while to for him to get back to you but it's well worth the wait guys I'll tell you so what I'll do is I'll run this this net from here what's going on here it's a bit tangled there you go it's out of the way and I'll run it through see there's that flat bit I was telling you about around the back and I'll run this across here just to stop any of these rabbits getting through last time I had this net out there was so much stuff mate it seemed, I would have been there forever picking it all out so I'll have to do a little bit now I suppose these, these nets pick up a bit more shit than Nelson's as well he makes them in four ounce and six ounce. For these quick sets, I like I like the the, uh, the heavier ones, six ounce. <coughs> we get a lot of debris and and they're just a little bit tougher, you know. They maybe rabbits might bounce off them a little bit more than the four, but that's okay because that's what the dogs are for, you know. I'd rather have the toughness of the net than having to buy them and repair them all the time, which happens with the. Uh, the four ounce a little bit i do have a traditional 75 yard long net which i also got from nelson and uh that is four ounce i don't use it all that often only on the larger burrows i think i've used it twice but anyway you know that's what it's here for it's coming handy see i was grabbing the wrong one with nelson's you're never gonna grab the wrong one because they're sitting on top of each other getting a bit hard we had rain over the last couple of days so I'm glad but rain's a little the ground's a little bit softer see what I mean how they get tangled hang on let me fix this up first that's why I don't like these when you, look like I 
said, you can put bands around them and they're fine. But why put bands around them if you if you design them properly? You don't have to. Okay, let's see what happens. Jeez, I know which one it is, but here we go. Not that one. That's what the tape around it, so I know that's the last one. What's going on here? Fortunately, there we go. I'm a fisherman and I'm patient. Fishermen are good at getting knots out because they have plenty of tangles when they're fishing. Fortunately, I'm a fisherman too. All right, and I'll run it up to this log pile here. So that's 125 yards along that we got out, guys. All right, I got uh, Sissy and Grace, and I left Willow and Kara. Kara's my pink eyed date. Oh. So I'll lift Willow and Cara, I'll use them in that, in that one. So I'll give them all a run today. So I've never done this before, so I'm guessing they're going to run that way. Like, that's my um, educated guess. But it'd be once I see it once, then I'll know. Look, after I, if I do it now, then they'll run over here. I'll know to put a net over here or whatever. Alright, we'll use uh, Grace. Nice big ferret this. She's the biggest doe that I've got. Alright girl, take it easy. Move, Gemma, move. Gemma, move. So much alike these two, in their nature and their and their, uh, and their ways. But steady enough, you know, they're steady enough. Good with uh, stock and cattle, sheep, horses, people, dogs, and that's what you want. If you can train these dogs, you can train any dog. see that uh, she's had a little bit of experience, knows what's going on with the ferreting game. Just added sissy to the mix. I think Grace has caught one. No, no way. Really happy with young Zip. She's such a handy dog, mate. Good girl. You wouldn't want to be doing anything else, would you? Cheers. Oh, 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 oh
but I know this I've never seen rabbits in this one although you can see those holes that like looks like they do uh, go in and out but this one where I put the long nets around I've seen plenty of them. I've seen a couple run in there this morning it wasn't many it was only two or three but at other other times I've seen plenty and there is another big burrow down on this corner I'll, take a drive down there later and if it's open, if the grass has sort of got gone down a little bit and it looks like it has, I'll, uh, I'll do that one as well. Okay, I might just add sissy first. They start running around circles. Casp, 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 that's enough, good girls, alright mine, that's enough, yep. there's another one, get him Casp, There's a fox. Go get him! Go get him! Get him! Shame they didn't see that. Sid would have caught that easy. It's running across the bottom there. Stop, he's looking. Haven't got me whistle either. <laughs> it's a big one too. I thought she'd seen it then. These dogs would have tore it to pieces in seconds. Zip would have pulled it up and the other dogs would have mangled it. She, she won't kill them, but she, she slows them, you know, she stops them. Alright guys, I'm going to pack the log nets up. Didn't do too good out of there, but that's ferreting. Just to finish this video off, I thought I'd show you the advantages and disadvantages of uh, these two types of nets. These are the, uh, the common ones that you find on eBay. Um, what I don't like about these is, if you see this bar here, when you're carrying your ferret box and your nets and everything else, and this is sitting on your hip, it's a lot less comfortable than the ones that Nelson makes due to the fact that if you see this flat bar here there's a bigger curve in it and it sits on your hip better and it's also a larger surface area um, so it doesn't dig into you as much as this one it's got a lot less carbon it's almost like a flat bar these are the, the 
the other common type that you can see. Uh, also, if you notice this, look, they can turn. They can just, you know, you can put rubber bands around them to stop them from from uh, lo losing their position. But even then, it's um, you, you'll find that they, they get tangled every now and again. Um, as with Nelsons, you can see that the poles they stack one on top of the other. Another great thing that I don't that I love about Nelsons nets is you see where the rubber rubber grommets are here. When they sit, they can't they don't slide past the grommet. They'll only they'll only slide there up to there and back up to where the grommet is. Um, as opposed to these, they can slide all the way, and sometimes they get they get stuck in here, and it's just a badly designed uh, net. When you when you're packing them up. They just fold one on top of the other. They also can carry more. You can slide, you can slide them in the front here as well. But all on the net, all the poles stack one on top of the other, nice and neat. You never get them tangled. They don't slide backwards and forwards. The bars better. Just a, a completely better design all around, as opposed to the uh, the other common type that uh, gets used by a lot of people. Anyway, that's my two bobs worth in my opinion, guys. It's just uh, um, what I think. The difference between the two, the main two differences are, there's not a lot of difference in weight. This is made of a slightly thinner material, so it sort of compensates a little bit for the the thickness of this. It might have extra bar, but this one's thicker, so the, their weights are approximately about the same. Uh, just, just as I said before, guys, if you're after any long nets of this particular design, um, which I find favourable, let me know i'll put you in touch with the guy let you know how to get in touch with him and um and, and you can take it from there like i said sometimes uh, it can take a little bit of time for him to respond but um as he goes on and he finds the time i'm sure he will get back to you he's a, he's, he's, he's a gentleman and he's very easy to deal with okay guys bye for now